everybody, this is Sarah from Seabree Soaps of Maine. I'm here to cut our Merlot soap and our beer soap. I've decided to call our beer soap Clean and Sober. I think that's a pretty good name. <laughs> so, Clean and Sober, otherwise known as our beer soap. It has discolored nicely. I really like um, the darker amber brown color. I'm still debating on whether or not I'll add any coloring to my next batch or if I'll just leave it like this. I think I'm going to give it time to cure out and see what the end product is going to be. I did use a very light beer when I made this. Um, but if you can see, you can see the almost framing around the edge, that's the color that it will eventually be when it's all cured out, once the air gets a chance to get at it and all of the water is depleted out. It smells just like beer, I have to say. This is a great fragrance oil that I've used. I will definitely buy it again. And I'm just not sure about whether or not I'm going to add color next time. I might add a layer of like white topping, make up sort of a frosting so it looks like the head, head on a beer. Um, I think that might be kind of a fun look. So that's great. I'm also going to experiment with some darker beers. This, is, this was a very light colored beer that I used. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Very happy indeed. I'm going to cut one more slice and move on to our Merlot soap. And I will cut the rest of this a little bit later. So I'm really happy with the way it came out. It's going to be your rather dark bar of soap by the time we're done. But I've decided clean and sober is what that one is going to be called. So be looking for that one on our Etsy site. Or any other places that you can find Seabree Soaps of Maine. And the next one I want to do is the Merlot. And I will say I've had kind of a love-hate relationship with this fragrance. But I'm at the point that I love it. <laughs> so, um, I do believe I'll make it again. I do think it will be a good seller. And I also think that I will add some purplish, dark red purplish color to it next time because it's not, <coughs> excuse me, it's not darkening as much as I had expected it to. And again, it has that frame around it where the air has been able to start getting at the inside to, um, to help it start curing. So that color will go all the way through the bar by the time it's done. Um, the scent has definitely improved with time. I still can't honestly say it smells like Merlot, but it smells more like a wine as time has gone by. So I'm really excited to use this one in the shower to see what it does, to see how it smells when it's wet, um, and to get some feedback from you guys as to whether you like it or not. Because it is all about you guys, you know. I don't do this just for myself. I do this for you guys. So your skin can be happy. And your mind can be happy. Oh, it's all crumbling on the bottom. Not sure what that's about. I have um, 
have waited, I think, a little long to cut these. They're definitely harder than I'm used to as far as the cut. Um, so that could be adding to the to the crumble. But we'll cut that off and smooth that off before it gets to you. So there's the Merlot, and again I think I want to make it more of a more of a red or a um, kind of a deep purple. I do believe. So anyway, I'm going to finish cutting these two loaves up. Clean and Sober, our beer soap. Merlot, our wine soap. And we will see you very soon. See you later.